Good afternoon, and we're here, he picked up a 279, and my friend didn't check the air in the tires, and they were almost flat, so we're a little overweight, but not too bad, it weighs about 9,000, I think. He didn't get up at 7, he ain't got time to check the air. Yeah, he didn't. shop's really far from where it's hard for me to get to the shop with the trailer. Today. He's got all these excuses. Huh? He's got all these excuses, this guy. Anyway, we got this thing, everything was mud there, we had to chop mud off for an hour, frozen. We got a three-hour drive way down by uh, Bristol, Virginia, and we don't want to go on 81. It's too, everyone's doing 90 miles an hour, and this is too much. So this machine is pretty good. Got a good price on it. Got to do a little cleanup on it. The forks are wiped out. But the undercarriage is good, and it's a 2012. No, can, no big fancy computer on this one. It's got a computer, but not like the new one. Back in there, you can see the hoses, and then that's a uh, drive signal motor back there. You got to be careful not to damage that back there. That's the only spot you got to be careful. Well, you see the teeth on the sprocket? They're about nah, not even half, and the rollers aren't too bad. The tracks have still got time on them left. It runs pretty good. It's got to be detailed out. He got it cheap. I mean, he got it like. I think he paid 26, 27, 26 uh, for this thing. So we're towing it with this. He fixed that one up. That thing had a bad uh, 60, 60 disaster diesel. He fixed that up. And uh, anyway, it's pretty nice. So anyway, peace out.